everybody has missed out on something in crypto because it's fast moving. Like because it's so fast moving, there's always there's always another opportunity, which is why we go through. Right? All right, so let's uh, let's review. Starting, let's go back to January when crypto Twitter was, I don't know, acting like uh, fans at the Roman Coliseum going like this for CZ and crypto as a whole, uh, you know, praying for an execution. That was the buy signal like of all time. All right. And then, of course, it goes up all month as everyone thinks it's a sucker's rally. And then the AI coins, you know, 100x or 50x and then everybody says the bull market is back and then what really happened was regulators were back and here we are hmm. so this is really going to be about <clears throat> how to trade what i hope is a bull market because i've seen this before you know this is very much like 2009 so to review you know in 2008 there was a huge financial crisis you know investment banks across the board and insurance company made bad investments that went to zero and made the companies insolvent. Sound familiar? Mm. Kind of like FTX and all those guys, right? So that was crypto's 2008. Then once the market bottomed, the first stuff that rallied was, you know, kind of like low cap speculative stuff, like, you know, like Solana came to mind, like, at $9, Solana was dead, and that was one of the first coins out of the gate in January. Yeah, I mean, so low-quality stuff comes out of the gate first, then higher-quality stuff followed. So, you know, you got the <clears throat> you got the 40% rally in Bitcoin, and of course, at that point, everybody was dying to get Bitcoin below 20K when the reality was it was below 20K for six months. You know, you had you had six months to do it. Everybody kind of went to sleep on the market, which, you know, that that's how markets twist people up. Mm -hmm. Then it rockets higher. And then any attempt to buy a dip, and this is key. First, there was no dip, which messed people up because bull markets mess people up too, right? So first, there was no dip. Then there was a dip before the FOMC. So you had to like be brave enough to buy it in front of the Fed. Then, of course, you know, recently it was going up forever with the AI trade, which I got a few things to say about that. And then, of course, regulators come in and now it all looks like it's going back to zero. And I call that the knife experience where everybody goes, oh, my God, it's a repeat of the bear market. And, you know, chart levels get broken. And, you know, as a technical analyst, I have to respect that. But frequently when you get these dips, <clears throat> You know, in bull markets, they create a lot of fear, stops get run. And one of the questions you have to ask yourself is, you know, okay, if you did a bad trade, you bought the top, you you have that in common with every trader that's ever lived, including the great ones. So if you did a bad trade, you did a bad trade. But if you're kind of an investor type and you freak out and puke out your crypto after a regulatory booga, 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 we're coming to get you like Kraken, right? Who are you selling your crypto to? Probably smart money. That's a good yeah.